It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty, and a warm welcome to you all. First feeling was a little bit of fear because you know if you lose on Derby Day, you can't show your face out in the town that evening. If you win it, it's a completely different feeling. It's right up there, very, very special. So Derby Days are ones ringed in red on the calendar of every player, right? You can experience the highs and the very lows. done that he decides to shoot what a reprieve that was oh he did really well to force the mistake by pressuring him like that that's great grit for you Luis Suarez with the first salvo of the game some hopeful faces waiting in the middle gets the ball in a nice position Valencia knocks it forward Luis Suarez, he plays it through, possibility here for a cross. Carrick has been fouled. Cleverly. Jordan Henderson. That's a threatening through ball. He takes the opportunity to shoot. No luck again, just like last time. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can convert a string of very decent opportunities. It's through to Luis Suarez. He shoots there. A similar chance and a similar outcome. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can convert a string of very decent opportunities. Here's Nani. Nani. And he's given away a free kick. He's got possession now, maybe a chance. Rooney, good hand by the keeper. Oh, it's been kept in. There's a chance to get a cross in. The lack of options wasn't an issue, but the lack of quality in the delivery certainly was. Carrick. Allen. Play surges forward. Now a chance for a cross from the flank. 
cleared away from immediate danger. One class forward. Valencia. And suddenly the defence is on the back foot. Gerard pumps it forward cleverly. Plays a long ball forward. It's Rooney. The referee blows his whistle to draw the first half to a close. So it's nil nil. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. The whistle goes for the second half. Evra plays it long. And he's still going. Pumps it upfield. Through and still going. He's on his way. It's in. And the game finally comes to life in the second half. So we resume at 1-0. Oh look, it's lovely having a player with such ability in your side. He's always capable of coming up with something important. And he's done it again. The ball has crossed the line and it's a throw. Plays it back to the keeper. Glenn Johnson, Sterling, Cleverly, and Van Persie. Allen has a hold of him. Luis Suarez, who's just scored a fine goal. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and get others into the match. Nani. A really impressive run through. He needs support. Well, what a chance. What a chance. I mean, they've been blessed to get away with that. Absolutely blessed. an hour of this second half here's Van Persie he's going it alone it is good to see a forward tracking back and defending like that from time to time you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here puts it away a moment of significance for Manchester United. It just couldn't have been placed any better.
so we resume with the scores back level. Listen, with the momentum that goal gives them now, they may well push for a winner before the 90 minutes is up. Players don't like extra time, believe me. Slides it through. Cleverly. Gerard. Johnny Evans takes advantage of a poor pass. Evra. Van Persie, well positioned to lead a breakaway. There is the full-time whistle, and still the teams are deadlocked. You know, they must be ruining their inability to put this game away. I think with the match now all square, they've got to go and try and win it again. For those of you tuning in to watch tonight's big film, apologies, it will be coming your way, but not yet. We've extra time here at the football. Well, they were convinced they had the match sewn up, so they won't be happy with conceding an equaliser so late in the game. The manager has to tell the players that now they need to switch their concentration and focus on extra time. A real chance missed. So you get the feeling that whoever scores the next goal here will be the winners of this time. They can't afford to waste chances like that, though. Allen has got hold of Valencia with a great example of how to cover it's through to Van Persie the forward push gains momentum a long ball forward Giggs and Van Persie Got the man there, that's a free kick. The referee has blown the whistle and we're at the midway point of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. The last opportunity, and I have to say most of the players out there are close to exhaustion. Has anyone got anything left to grab a winner? Whoever scores now should go on to win the game. Well, that's the theory anyway. It's true. Oh, he wasn't taking any chances there. Alan. Here's Luis Suarez. That'll be a throw in. And they're now bringing on the last of their substitutes. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. We're into the last five minutes. At this stage of the game, they need to get into a more attacking position. Nani, who has an assist to his name. Three shrill peeps of the whistle, and this match is going to penalties. Well, it's all about nerve and bottle now for these penalty takers. They've just got to pick their spot and not change their mind. A penalty shootout, then, is going to be the mode of sorting out the winners of this game. After 120 minutes of football, they are still all square. He places it on the spot, steps back, pauses, looks fairly relaxed, but his heart must be beating like crazy. Up steps the all-important first taker. He should be able to handle the pressure, but can he? Under great pressure, he bangs it past the keeper. He made it, it's 1-1. That's a good start and a great, great penalty to make it one each. He blasts it high. He's just gone for power instead of accuracy and it's not worked for him. 
gets nowhere near it. Oh, the keeper's been completely wrong for today. Superb strike. Oh, no, he's missed it. Oh, agonisingly close, but he's been denied by the woodwork. Putting this penalty away for a two-goal lead would give them a real psychological boost. To the keeper's right. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Calmly, precisely, he puts the ball down. Everyone in the stadium holding their breath. Now this is real pressure. Keeper needs to keep this one out for the win, so there's pressure on taker and goalkeeper alike. The fans on their feet as down comes the curtain on a true drama. A horrible way to lose, and one that's more down to luck than anything else. The keeper will be disappointed he wasn't able to save his team from defeat. Well, remembering what the feeling was like, I can only sympathise with, with the losers of any derby. It's a, it's a horrible experience, and I doubt you'll see these players out in the town tonight. I think there'll be more of a, a night in, uh, licking a few wounds. My sincere thanks go to Jim Beglin for joining us, and that brings us to the end of this afternoon's match.